TNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, Tuesday, the 3rd of September. We're into September. Yep. And we're looking at the Dow. Let me just get this chart right now. The Dow's been slipping. The Dow is now down 320 um, at 41,240 after making an all time high. This is probably going to make a peak C today. And I'm still anticipating a leg D to the upside. We'll see if that's going to happen uh, this week. Uh, leg C in the monthly in the weekly chart, leg E in the monthly chart. Let's go to the S and P. S and P did not make a new all time high on Friday. Just missed it. S and P is down 50. Uh, oops, put it out here. Oh, S and P. Let me just do that again. Here we go. Tiger Financial News Network 10 o'clock market update. We're looking at the S and P down 56 at 59 55.91. It's making a little double top here. This is on the very short term. We'll see if it's able to get above 56, 51.62. Um, that's going to be that's going to be the challenge right now. Uh, but the weekly chart or the nines over the 14, both the daily and the weekly. So the technicals are still very good. The technicals that I'm looking at. QQQ is down. Uh, 575 at 470.55, uh, struggling. The nine period moving average is still positive. We'll see what happens if there's some kind of a turnaround in the next two days. But this is starting to show some wear and tear. It's really struggling, same as the SMHs. They're much weaker. The SMHs are down. The semiconductors down almost 10 at 233. Um, I'm watching them closely because I think they're Failure is telling me that the market is going to be coming into some kind of selling pressure very soon. The IWM, the Russell 2000, was showing a little bit of uh, relative strength, but now it's down to 97, to 217.08. Yet that 9 is still over the 14, and that's a good sign. Let's go to gold. Gold was down earlier on 17 points, yep, uh, at 2510. Mm, this is looking like a rollover at this particular point. You've got to watch it real closely. Let's go to the TLT. That's bonds. Bonds were up quite sharply. Now they're up almost a dollar and a half at 97.91. That's a good sign to hold that nine period moving average positive like that. And let's go to crude oil. Crude oil has been slumping. Crude oil right now is down almost $3. They're taking out almost, yeah, taking almost taking out the left side low of the beginning of August. Not good action. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Emissions Hour. I check out my opening call. See you in a few moments.